Okay, so right now I'll be solving these two problems on Laplace transform. So you're asked to find a Laplace transform of 2 sine 3t plus 4 sine 3t. Then, okay, let me do that first one first. So the Laplace transform of this, since we have a plus here, what does that mean? That means I'll be taking the Laplace transform of 2 sine 3t plus the Laplace transform of 4 sine 3t, sorry. Now please remember, remember that this guy which you are seeing currently is what is showing that a sum is the individual Laplace of what the two functions. So let me proceed. This two is a constant, so we can have the two outside. So this is the two with the Laplace transform of sine three t, then plus four is a constant, so you can come outside. This is four with the Laplace transform of sine three t. So that's what I have. But the next thing I want to do is um okay. Let me not say 4 and 2, um, 2 is common. Let me just leave it first. Now, what is the Laplace transform of sine 3t? This is 2 dot. Laplace transform of sine 3t is 3 over s squared plus 9. Then plus 4 dot. What is the Laplace transform of sine 3t? This is going to give you the same 3 all over s squared minus 9. Difference between sine 3t and cos, sorry, sine 3t with a h is this minus guy at the denominator plus or minus so right now 2 times 3 here will give me 6 all over s squared plus 9 then plus 4 times 3 will give me 12 divided by what s squared minus 9 um first of all before i start taking the lcm between 6 and 12 6 is common so this is 6 open bracket 6 over 6 will give me 1 over s squared plus 9 then plus 12 over 6 will give me 2 over s squared minus 9. Okay, so this is 6, open bracket. What is the LCM of s squared plus 9 and s squared minus 9? So it's just their product. So this is s squared plus 9, bracket, bracket, s squared minus 9. Okay, so um, divide everything here by s squared plus then what will be remaining s squared minus 9 times 1 all this to give to you this is one bracket s squared minus 9 then plus everything here divided by s squared minus 9 what will be left s squared plus 9 times it by 2 so these two brackets s squared plus 9 then close the brackets so this is 2 okay 6 rather bracket 1 times anything is that same thing so this is s squared plus sorry s squared minus 9 then plus 2 times s squared is 2s squared 2 times 9 will give you 18 then divided by if you look at this carefully if you look at it very very carefully you will notice that this is actually difference of two squares so s squared times s squared is s to the power of 4 plus times minus is minus 9 times 9 81 so this is 6 open bracket s squared plus 2s squared what would i give to you 3s squared minus 9 plus 18 is what plus 9 then divided by s to the power of 4 minus 81 so this is 6 times look at this numerator what do you think is common here 3 is common here so this is 6 times 3 open bracket s squared plus 3 divided by s to the power of 4 minus 81 Please take note, if 3 should come out here, 3 has left s squared, so we'll be having s squared remaining. 9 divided by the 3 that you factorized will give you what? 3. So this is 18, bracket s squared plus 3, divided by s to the power of 4 minus 81. So it's better to express the answer like this. So 6 times 3, 18, s squared plus 9, sorry, plus 3, divided by s to the power of 4 minus 81. So that's that result. The number two, the Laplace transform of 5 exponential negative 40 will become Laplace transform of 5 exponential the power of minus 40, close it, plus the Laplace transform of cosh 2t. Hmm, cosh. Okay, now please, the first thing I'll be doing here is this. We have 5 here. This 5 is a constant. So this is 5, factorize it out, Laplace transform of 
exponential minus 40, then plus Laplace transform of what? Cosh 2t. So right now, what will happen next? I'm going to say this is 5 dot. What is the Laplace transform of exponential minus 40? This will give you 1 over s plus 4. If you can remember, the exponential guy, when taking the Laplace transform, you always have, let me say, Laplace transform of exponential a t is always 1 over s minus a. This is standard result. So if you have minus, if you have minus um, 4, when you come here and put minus 4, this will become minus minus is plus. So this is plus 4. That was how I got this. Then plus, what is the Laplace transform of cos 2t? Cos, this very guy that we have here, this very guy is going to become 2. Okay, sorry. Cos is going to be going with s. So this is s all over what? s squared minus 4. Please take note. Let me just write it here again. The Laplace transform of cos a t is equal to what? s over what? s squared minus a squared. Cos goes, anything that has to do with cos, always go with s at the numerator. Then sine goes with a at the numerator. Okay, so that's what we have. 5 times 1 here will give me 5 over s plus 4, then plus s over s squared minus 4. So that's what I have. So let me wipe this part. Now the next thing is all be the LCM of these two guys. Just multiply them. This is s plus 4 brackets s squared minus 4. Everything here divided by s plus 4 will be left s squared minus 4 times it by 5. This is 5 bracket s squared take away 4 plus everything here divided by s squared minus 4 will be left s plus 4. So times it with s. So this is s bracket s plus 4. Open the bracket at the top. 5 times s squared is 5s squared. 5 times minus 4 is what? Minus um, 20. Then plus s times s, s squared. s times this 4 will give me what? 4s. Divided by, the denominator is s plus 4, bracket bracket, s squared minus 4. So right now look at this. 5s squared plus s squared will give me 6s squared. Then I have plus 4x, then minus what? 20. Divided by what? S plus 4, bracket S squared minus 4. You can actually decide to factorize the numerator if you wish to. Okay, so this will be the end for that very video. Thank you very much.